And a lot of the WWE folks who worked in the office have said in you know, shoot interviews and various forums that they were nervous about their job. Is that something you thought was going to happen like, hey, we're done? Or, or did you have confidence that Jerry Jarrett could step in and run the ship while Vince was away? Okay, so you asked two different questions there. Was I nervous? No. Was I confident that Jerry Jarrett could <laughs> run anything? Absolutely not. Yeah, well, I didn't. What? No, I, I had forgotten. I, I now that you bring it up, where did Jerry Jarrett come in, Conrad? Well, I mean, Bruce probably knows better than I. But the story is that Jerry Jarrett got the call from Vince when Vince thought, "Hey, this may not be going my way, and if I'm away, I need somebody who can uh, run the territory, so to speak." God, I never heard that. And, I did hear that now, but I, I, I'd have to agree with Bruce. Not a chance. But well, no, not not a chance. Not not a chance, Jerry. No. I don't know how Jerry ever ran Memphis in the territory that he ran, um, other than the fact that he had creative bookers and a uh, hot shot booking that uh, only would work in one area, and that'd be in the mid-south area. Yeah. Hey, let me see if but, I can find a shovel. I'm, we just buried Jerry Jarrett. He's gone. No, I'm, 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 I'm just I'm speaking the truth. I'm not burying him. <laughs> no, no, I, I, and I, I'm going to say the same thing. I like Jerry a lot personally. But you can't you can't run Memphis and compare that to running the WWE, and I think that's a very a very fair assessment. Well, creatively, you know, it's probably a call he made from a financial standpoint. Wouldn't you guys agree? Because everybody says that you know there's no money to be made in Memphis, but Jerry Jarrett took care of himself, so it was probably a call based on financial reasons. Or am I way off on saying that? Well, I, I don't think without Jerry Lawler, he would have had nearly the success that he had. And I'm hoping that Jerry Lawler made a lot of money. Yep. But but Jerry Jarrett coming in, Jerry Jarrett was, was one of several that Vince went to to seek out as a, a consultant and to try and get a different head and a different viewpoint in. Um, but Jerry Jarrett, once he got in and once he, you know, Vince was exposed to him or Jerry was exposed to Vince, put it that way, um, the there, there was never that intent to. Oh God, if something happens, uh, okay. Jerry Jarrett's going to run this thing. I think that the intent was simply that if something were to ever happen to Vince, that people, that several different people would put in key positions to just come together, and we had that opportunity to do it. And I think we did pretty well while Vince was going through his neck surgery at the time or his back surgery and preparing for the trial. And during the trial, we, we did run it without Vince. Mm. So to, to that point, you know, it was, it was simply Vince making sure that he had the right people in the right positions all throughout the company, which goes to as much as you hear Vince being the end all be all there, which he is, that if something, God forbid, were to happen to him tomorrow, that the company would go on and it would be fine. Would it be as good? Probably not. Would now, I'm one of those ride? people. I'm sorry. 